hey guys don't forget to subscribe my hey guys don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon for similar video notifications also do comment on what else you would like me to this present video hi guys you're watching channel mr electron and today i'm going to teach you how to make gearless frictionless transmission with the help of drill chucks and magnets so guys this is the magnet string that i ordered online there are so many small magnets and all of them are neodymium magnets which i'm going to use in this project now guys the first part is to identify the polarity of the magnets like its north pole or south pole for a magnetic locking so what i'm going to do is remove a little string and stick it to the metal piece now this is not important whether it's north pole or south pole what is important if the magnet is attracting or getting repelled so let's take uh, the first magnet okay in case at present it is attracting let's remove this one okay keeping it like this keeping one magnet like this now this is uh, the liquid bond sticky bond okay now sticking one magnet like this okay you can see only one part of it is on the projected portion of the drill chuck and then placing some glue giving it some time to stick so guys now comes the second magnet piece this one now what i have to do is check if it repels or attracts now since it is attracting so the opposite of it will be stuck to this base okay keep it like this it is sticking exactly to the other magnet with both the two poles as opposite okay and just to confirm it i can use the magnet string to check if one magnet is repelling and the other one is attracting so this one is attracting and this one is repelling perfect now guys sticking glue to the second piece as well okay that being done now let's proceed to the third magnetic piece now the third magnetic piece will go the same way it should attract the middle magnet it is repelling so i have to interchange it and now it should attract yeah it is attracting so the attraction piece is going to be upwards there is a maybe that one more magnet can adjust in between both of them yeah it is attracting here is almost perfect now let's glue them all together so the first piece is ready now all we have to do is keep it for some time for the uh, glue to get dry so guys further strengthening the bond with the help of a glue stick make sure that it does not comes over the magnet it remains below the magnet like on the side let it dry yeah so guys here as you can see are two vices this is the first one that you have already seen and this is the second one uh, this is uh, rusted a lot i found it in the scrap yard uh, today but it still works pretty good as you can see it is working so i'm using it in this project so guys uh, this is the bldc motor that i modified into a generator single phase ac and a uh, 24 volts low rpm so i'm going to connect this generator to this vice and to this only i'm also going to connect this magnetic drill chuck okay so guys for the driving motor i'm going to use uh, this one it is the same one that i used in the gyroscope testing and uh, yeah i have already attached the drill chuck with magnets on it let's uh, tighten it up yeah now it's tight pretty good 
okay let's mount it let's move them a little closer to me you saw it automatically aligned according to the poles yeah at present it is vibrating because the distance between the magnets is a little bit higher okay yeah you can see that now it is working so guys you can see how perfectly aligned it is so guys here are two jumper cables that i'm going to connect at the back of this motor now guys this is a 3.7 volts lithium ion battery cell that i'm going to use to drive this motor so these are the two terminals of course you can see that uh, the operation is completely soundless there is no sound at all and when i try to stop uh, this motor this one automatically stops because the magnets have been locked and uh, the torque that this motor will suffer will also be suffered by this motor until the magnetic locking is overcome by an extreme external force like this yeah even in that case it is stopping and uh, the terminal is heating up so guys here as you can see that i have connected a multimeter i will point it towards uh, 200 volts ac mode so yeah keeping it over here and uh, this one is going to act as a generator you can see that when i rotate it, it is producing some voltage and uh, for the driving of this motor i'm going to use this small 3.6 volts batteries and let's see what output i get over there okay connected so guys as you can see i'm giving just 3.6 volts and here i'm getting around 4.7 or 4.8 volts yeah that's pretty good okay once again yeah, it's almost 5 volts ac yeah now guys here as you can see that i have a dc to dc boost converter with which i'm going to increase uh, the voltage of uh, the 3.7 volts supply slowly and uh, see the maximum speed at which this magnetic locking can hold uh, this generator setup and also see how much voltage is generated on the screen display and guys to power up the boost converter i'm going to use this 3.7 volts 40000 mah battery pack okay so guys this is the boost converter and uh, this is the output side so uh, this motor terminals will be connected to the output side of this converter now guys it's time to connect the multimeter 200 volts ac and finally this 3.7 volts battery pack so guys here as you can see that uh, this setup is working pretty good okay locking is uh, good enough and uh, this alternator generator is generating around 4.9 volts you can see when i'm stopping it the voltage is reducing because the rpm is reducing and when i stop this one again the voltage is reducing so let's increase the voltage of uh, this motor which will in turn increase the rpm of uh, this motor and this alternator you can see that the voltage of this alternator generator has increased to 5.3 volts let's go a little bit further 5.6 volts it is vibrating a lot little more 6 more it's vibrating even more 7.4 volts 8 volts more 8.8 yeah it's working pretty good it is generating around 9.4 uh, volts 3.7 volts is being converted to around uh, 7 or 8 volts with this converter which is finally converted with this alternator to 9.4 volts ac yeah actually the upper portion is not connected to anything because of which it is going backwards and forwards for better performance it has to be 
stuck pretty good so guys this is an 84 led panel that i'm going to connect to this alternator now because this alternator is producing ac and this light system is dc so it is going to glow and then stop glowing like up and down up and down fluctuate but still it is going to glow i don't i'm not sure if you can uh, see that effect on camera but at least i will uh, give it a shot these are all the leds okay it is turning on and off at a very high speed i don't think you can see it so it is working pretty good yeah I pretty good turning it off now this what you see is a 24 volts 20 amperes dc motor and uh, here i'm going to use this motor as a generator and uh, you can see i have left out a minor gap in between the magnets on the drill chuck and uh, to the other side i have connected this strong bldc motor it's a little bit larger than my usual motors and to drive this motor i'm going to use this no hall sensor type of bldc motor controller so okay let's connect them all so guys uh, the blue wires will be connected to the three terminals from the bldc motor in any way you like yeah it's not necessary which wire has to be connected to which one it automatically adjusts to the terminals so these wires have been connected now i have to give positive and negative supply and turn this variable resistance in the clockwise direction and then uh, you should see it start rotating at present it is pointing towards anti-clock mode for clock mode you have to turn it like this let's go for anti-clock so guys although this motor is 24 volts rated i'm going to run it with this 12 volts 7 h ups battery single piece black negative let's make sure it's at the minimum okay positive so it has turned on now it should work let's start it slowly you can see that it has started running it has picked up a little bit higher speed let's go a little faster you can see it is running very fast Let's measure the voltage that this motor is generating at present with the help of a multimeter. Multimeter pointing towards DC mode. Let's take it to 20 volts DC. Yeah, you can see that it is generating around 6 volts. 641 Let's increase the speed with the help of this controller. 6.64 7 volts. 7.5. Yeah, it has got to a speed of around 8 volts, which is pretty good. So let's connect this 84 LED load to it. And I think it should start glowing at this. You can see it is running and the magnetic locking is strong enough that even though i have connected the load it is not getting disaligned this part 